Part of the principles of modern development practice is to have empathy for everyone and to really think about your user and to have a lot of perspectives looking at problems so that you can get to the best solution. And I don't think you can do that if everyone on your team looks the same or thinks the same or has the same background. Um, it's fun to, The thing about tech is it relies on making stuff that works for everyone, which means you need as many perspectives as possible with equal value placed on each of them to get to the right result. And I think that's why diversity really helps to build the right products, because I think that you can see on companies that have more diverse teams and more diverse business structures, generally speaking, tend to deliver better solutions and better products than those that don't. Because if you all think in the same way, you will end up at the same conclusion, which means that no one really can make sure you're making the right decision or really critically analyze if a solution will work for your users. Because again, it's about empathy. And if you don't have that diversity, you don't have that empathy and you won't be able to make really good products. So that's my answer to that one. Yeah, I I agree. I think if you don't have varying opinions on honestly most things, then you're not ultimately going to be pushing each other to keep making the product what it should be. You know, there should there should be a conflict of opinions and you should be able to uh, work together to justify why your thinking is a certain way or why a design has happened a certain way because if you can't justify that then it's probably not been thought through properly or it's not been designed correctly and that needs to be a conversation that happens I think some of the best ideas come from the people who don't think their opinion is <laughs> should matter uh, the people who are shy and to be honest a lot of times I guess in tech that does uh, that does mean uh, women as well um, I know that I for one, started at Foundry as a very, very shy person. And I think Chloe can attest as she used to be in the team that I worked with. Um, nobody would hear what I had to say because they couldn't physically hear me because I was too shy <laughs> to speak up about uh, my opinions. And it took me a long time to get out of that mindset. And honestly, it took several uh, good mentors uh, across the company, both male and female. And it took people coming up to me and saying, your opinions are worthwhile. You need to share them because not everyone has the answers. You know, that product manager doesn't have all the answers. So you need to give this answer. And I think I think being able to do that and speak up for yourself is it's just really fundamental, not just to being a product manager, but just to working in the tech environment in general. Mm. Definitely agree. De diversity is just so important in everything that you do. You know, diversity of skills in in terms of you know I've kind of fallen into that trap where I've kind of looked up at you know people above me and I've thought oh, I need to be a bit more like them but really a, a team does work at its best when you have completely different skill sets so you yeah. can bring different things to the table like between myself and 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 colleagues within the same um uh, within yeah within the same product team you know we have completely different skill sets you know we kind of balance each other out in that in in that way and we can take advice and give advice to each other um and that's just yeah that's just the best way to to be mm. i think there's also a perception that uh women are less technical and that's just an old mindset within the tech industry obviously we know that some people are incredible uh, at coding regardless of gender um, I think the idea is that coding is technical. Well, technical actually means multiple different things. Technical is problem solving. Technical is being able to look at something in a different way to someone who is actually providing the code for that feature. Um, I think a lot of us, I, I probably all of us here, um, I won't speak for you, but uh, probably we've all experienced cases where we've um, suggested something coming from a user perspective and someone who is more technical as technical in a coding mindset has immediately rebuked that idea as no that's just not how it would work because the code works in a certain way and I think having the confidence to discuss that openly and recognize that okay your strength is in the code and my strength is in looking at this as a user those are both extremely technical perspectives and we can work on this together agree I feel like the mo the best the better features the better products really come out of 
you know, people having discussions, trying to figure out what the best solution is technically, but also on a workflow perspective. So there's compromises that needs to happen on both sides and being able to communicate back and forth and to and to have that relationship where you can really have like an honest conversation where both sides can understand the pros and cons of going one direction or the other. Usually, you know, that just means that thought is going into that feature. And that's always when, you know, the best, um, the best ones come about, you know, if I was, you know, in a, in a vacuum by myself and I was thinking um, ideas all day long, I probably wouldn't come close to anything um, that, you know, I could come up with if I, if we, if I communicated within my team and also externally. So it's just, yeah, it's really important to have that mix of knowledge, mix of perspectives, mix of experience, it's uh, it's crucial. I guess you could almost call it like an equality of thought. So yeah. everyone's yeah. opinion holds value. Everyone's opinion is listened to, and everyone's opinion matters. And the more opinions that you have from different backgrounds, the better you are. Yeah, definitely. We're also in a really good time in Foundry, where I know all of us have been at Foundry for several years. Um, seeing a lot more women in the product teams and. It, to be honest, in the engineering teams, all of the all of the teams and in leadership roles has been really exciting to see happening more and more. Actually, yeah, it's actually really exciting and inspiring right now. If you look at the leadership structure, if you look at the leadership structure of Founder and you see that our CEO is female, our CPO is female, like these are all big, awesome things to see actually happening. Yeah, it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's actually um, obviously Jody wasn't the CEO when I joined Foundry six years ago, but it was the fact that we had a different CEO who was also female and that sort of drew me to wanting to apply there as well. Mm. It's definitely inspirational. Yeah, but I'm just kind of thinking of what you were mentioning, Charlie, before about also the differences between introverted and extroverted people, people who don't want to speak up as much. And I think we can always, well, around the topic of diversity, you know, everyone can always improve right it's it's not something that you know people achieve from one day to the next it's 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 also requires you know effort from quite yeah but from from different I guess from different angles so you know if you you know we, we try our best to make sure that everyone does speak up everyone does have a voice so asking the right questions ask making sure that someone's you know being quiet why is that is it because they don't feel that their um, contribution is valuable uh, maybe it's because they have you know they don't know this area very well in which case it's extremely important to ask questions because they'll have a completely different you know perspective and different opinion as elsewhere so just making sure that everyone does have that platform where they can speak up is really really important mm 